गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन एज आई हैव स्टार्टेड द रिविजन ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर वन द सेंटेंस एंड इट्स टाइप्स फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु हैड मिक्स द लेक्चर फ्रॉम द वेरी मिगरिंग बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर नॉट हैविंग देयर बुक्स फॉर कॉपीज बट एज इट इज नाउ यू हैविंग योर बुक्स ऑल्सो एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग देयर कॉपीज ऑल्सो एंड यू नो यू आर गोइंग टू डू योर रिटर्न वर्क ऑल्सो फ्रॉम टूडे so children i told you about the sentence its definition its example you all got it very well then i told you about uh, classification of sentences that was the assertive or declarative sentence uh, and its example interrogative sentence with its example now children today i am going to tell you about the imperative sentences now children what are the imperative sentences these sentences denote a request advice suggestion warning order command etc and end with a full stop but sometimes with an exclamation mark also got it For example, please lend me your book. Children, here I am emphasizing on the word "please." So, what kind of a sentence it is? It is a request. Here, drive carefully on this road. What is it? Am I doing something? Am I? I am advising you. So, what kind of a sentence it is? It is an advice. now children stop watch out that means stop when i'm saying stop that means i'm giving you some warning stop watch out beware stop so i'm giving you the warning so in this imperative sentence you know as it is i have explained to you it can be a request also it can be an advice also suggestion also warning also and command and order also got it children now children we are coming to the exclamatory sentences now what are the exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences children you have learned it uh, denotes some strong feeling or ex- of excitement or sadness anything clear so children now you can tell me um, about the exclamatory sentences that you have understood but again i am telling you remind you children that you can just get it forever the exclamatory sentences the strong feeling or excitement or sadness with an exclamation mark for example how beautiful the flower is i am appreciating how beautiful the flower is so that means i am with an expression of just praising words so how beautiful the flower is with an exclamation mark again how sadly you behave that means it is the expression of sadness so again the feeling hai to ek feeling hi na whether it is the feeling of excitement or sadness oh that is excellent that means i am appreciating you again it's a feeling from within is it clear to you children now i am telling you about the excitement so children i think today's lecture on imperative sentence and exclamatory i have uh, explained to you very well children and as i have told you if you are having any problem then you can just ask me your queries as usual children now too much of studies too much of lecture so now we are going to do some written work also as i have as i have told you and most of the i mean all the teachers have told you that from today we are going to start our class work children and children class work that means you have to make your class work copies and children in english i, I have always advised my children i'm talking about myself supriti so divedi your class teacher english teacher also that in english you have to make three copies 
as we are starting only with the grammar just now i'll be telling you later about the other copies but in grammar we are just going on with grammar lesson number 1 children to write the date is very important for me also and for you also get in habit of good habit of writing the date so you are going to write today's date as it is month the year 2020 you know very well known so children you are going to write in the same manner then class work you will write class work lesson 1 the sentence and its types and children i want the written work in the pattern i have shown it to you clear children each and every heading should be properly neatly underlined using the scale not like in an untidy or dirty and filthy manner clear children then after writing this you will come to the definition of sentence as it is written in my copy you are going to write in the same manner the definition of sentence then you are coming to the examples of sentence you are going to write the examples of sentence got it children then sentence are of two elements subject and predicate then again its example as i have written everything should be neat and tidy clear that you are going to separate with the subject and with the predicate in the manner it is written to you then children again you are then you will write after you have written the definition of sentence its example and sentence are of two types then you are coming to the classification of sentences got it now classification of sentences children uh, i told you yeah i told you the day before yesterday ki i had taught you about assertive or declarative sentences so properly you are going to write the definition of assertive or declarative sentences you are going to write the examples got it are you following children if you are following it very good then we are coming to the interrogative sentences interrogative children also uh, you are going to write the definitions and the examples children as it is children i have told you that uh, while you are doing your written work you have to be very specific while writing and you have to follow the pattern as your teacher is guiding you how to write and one thing more children i am going to tell you that uh, you have to make the index page also you have made also um, in the previous classes you know how to make the index index page so you are going to start tomorrow from uh, from today children you are going to make the index page start your written work and i think as you are enjoying the lecture so you are going to do, you are going to follow the rules and regulation to the uh, given by the teachers how to write your work in your class work copies children so this is your class work children and your homework is that you are going to learn the whole material as a learning uh, how uh, as a learning matter that you are, first you are going to write it and your homework is to learn it and children keep on doing this because uh, it will help you to recollect in your mind thank you children